Better days are ahead for horse racing in Guyana. This is according to newly elected president of the Guyana Horse Racing Authority, Justice Cecil Kennard. A new executive was elected on Sunday at the authority's annual general meeting. Kennard admitted that he wants to work on legislation that will see the regularization of the authority. At the moment, we are operating in an ad hoc manner. We have certain rules, but um, it's not legally enforceable in, in the sense that um, you cannot impose any penalty on a person. You can warn them, but assuming you suspend them, they may, can, may, may very well take you to court and say you not, don't have legislative powers to do it. We are hoping this year, this year, with the help of the government, when I say help of the government, they starting from the president, the Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, and the AG that we will have that legislation which is long outstanding. Also on the agenda is the vexing problem of doping, especially at invitational meets. A lot of horses, when they are racing for the big money, they are being doped, and you find some of them may never race back again. Because the amount of drugs they put in those, those horses, they finish the racing. So if you have legislation, we'll be able to um, have the saliva test and ensure that people do not resort to doping. Another area that the president wants to shore up is the compliance of racing dates. In football, the just concluded mediation between the Georgetown Football Association and the football governing body in Guyana. The Guyana Football Federation has paved the way for greater emphasis now on the development aspect of the sport locally. FIFA Director of Member Association and Development, Thierry Reginas, who was also part of the high-level team that brokered the deal, says with the strides the Golden Jaguars team made in terms of their quest for World Cup qualifying recently, it is a great indicator as to what can happen if the necessary development and programs are in place. If you're engulfing struggles, if you're engulfing in internal ranga and struggle, you cannot, uh, you, 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 you cannot work in, uh, for, for development. So, so that's the stage after we want to settle this, and then we will talk about concrete development. The EFF could apply to the FIFA performance program, where there is a, a lot of support in terms of uh, organizational review of an association. It's a program that that, that goes. That, that is open to any football association and where we can provide um, management consulting um, uh, support in terms of marketing revenue generation organization administration accounting and so on so this is but this is something that happens at in a second stage once there is a new elected uh, leadership the team made it clear that they are not going to leave guyana to flounder on their own but will be checking with them from time to time to ensure that football gets back on track here. For Capital News, Raul Collins.